Hello friends, this video on body fluids and circulation part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we understood the processes of systole and diastole, now we will talk about cardiac cycle. So why do we call this a cycle? Because you saw that the processes of uh, contraction and relaxation happens in a cyclic manner. The first step was joint diastole and again which was followed by uh, auricular systole, then ventricular systole and finally it ended up again in joint diastole. So that is how it is a cyclic process. So we can say that it is a sequential event which is cyclically repeated in the heart. So it, it goes on and on one after another. So it consists of systole and diastole of both auricles and ventricles. All the four chambers, they uh, contract at certain times and then again they relax. So depending upon the uh, impulse generated by the SA node and the AV node, how they conduct it. So as the based on whatever we have studied in the previous, we can say that if we talk about cardiac cycle, the first step is the joint diastole where both the auricles and the ventricles, they are all in a relaxed state. The second state is the auricular systole. This is initiated by the uh, SA node which generates an electric impulse and in this step, both the right auricle and the left auricle contracts. Now, this auricular systole is later followed by the ventricular systole. Now, this ventricular systole is when both the ventricles, right ventricle and left ventricle, both of them contract. And this happens when, when the uh, signal reaches, sig the impulse generated by the SA node reaches the AV bundle and the Purkinje fibers. Now when the ventricular systole takes place, the auricular diastole also takes place. So both of these happen simultaneously. The ventricular systole and the auricular diastole. This is again followed by the ventricular diastole that is the ventricles relax and which in turn lead to the joint diastole where both auricles and ventricle relax. So this cycle of events keep on happening one after the another continuously and this is known as cardiac cycle. So now let us talk about another important term called cardiac output. So what do we mean by output? Now so many changes take place inside the heart. So what is the net result of it? So whenever we talk about output, we are actually talking about the net result of something. So it is the total volume of blood pumped out by each ventricle per minute. So the picture is quite funny, I'm sure, I know, uh, but that is just to let you understand what is cardiac output. Now, what is the output from the heart? Heart is actually pumping blood. It is pumping blood out of it. And the blood is pumped out by which chambers of the heart? Heart by the ventricles. So now, how much volume of blood is pumped out by each ventricle in one minute? That volume of blood is known as cardiac output. So if the cardiac output is more, we say that, okay, the heart is pumping more blood, pumping out more blood, so the output is more. So that means it is a kind of a way to, it is a parameter to measure the functioning of the heart. Now let us try to calculate the cardiac output for a normal healthy adult human being. Okay, so now we all know that there are 72 cardiac cycles that take place in one minute in an adult. Now when I say 72 cardiac cycles, why 72 cardiac cycles? You remember I told you that the different nodal tissues they have different abilities to produce the action potentials or to produce the um, impulses. Now it, it was found that SA node produces maximum action potentials and they produce almost 70 to 75 action potentials in one minute. Now for each action potential produced by the SA node, there will be one contraction of the auricle which will result in one contraction of the ventricle. So basically one cycle will get repeated with one 
electrical impulse generated by the SA node. So if the SA node is generating around 7, between something between 70 to 75 impulses, let us take that as 72. That means there are 72 cardiac cycles taking place in an adult in one minute. So if 72 cycles take place in one minute, so how much time will one cycle, one cardiac cycle take? So it will take 1 minute by 72, that is 60 seconds by 72, which would be nothing but 0 0.8 seconds. So one cardiac cycle will take 0 0.8 seconds. Now, it has also been observed that in one cycle, in one cardiac cycle, one ventricle pumps out how much blood? It, it has been observed that one ventricle pumps out around 700 milliliter of blood and this volume of blood which is pumped out by one ventricle in one cardiac cycle is also known as the stroke volume. This is a term given to this volume. It is called the stroke volume. So if in one cycle it pumps out 70 milliliter, so how much would be the cardiac output and how did we define it? Cardiac output is the volume of blood pumped out by each ventricle in one minute. So in one cycle it is 700 milliliter. So how much will it pump out in one minute? So that would be equal to, so this is just for one cycle, right? Now in one minute how many cycles are there? In one minute there are 72 cycles, right? And in one cycle 70 milliliter is pumped out. So that means in 72 cycles, 70 into 72 milliliter will be pumped out. So that will be approximately 5040, 5040 milliliter, which will be approximately 5 liters. So approximately 5 liters of blood is pumped out by each ventricle in one minute in, an, in a healthy adult human being. So this is the cardiac output of the heart. So it actually says that okay, heart, heart is doing so much of hard work. So this is the result. So it is able to pump out this much amount of blood. Okay. So now let us have a quick recap. So let us have a quick recap of what's happening inside the heart as a result of the electrical impulses or the nodal tissues and the valves and the contraction and expansion of the auricles and ventricles. So the deoxygenated blood enters into from the right auricle into the right ventricle through the uh, cuspid valves and then once it enters, the valve closes and then it enters the, the other valve, that is the pulmonary valve opens and the deoxygenated blood flows into the pulmonary artery to be supplied to the lungs where it gets oxygenated back. Whereas the oxygenated blood from the lungs move from move into the left auricle and from left auricle it moves into the left ventricle through the tricuspid valve and then the tricuspid valve closes and from there the oxygenated blood flows into the outer through the aortic valve and from there it flows through the arteries to different parts of the body and this contraction and expansion of the uh, auricles and the ventricles is completely governed by the electrical impulses generated by the nodal tissues, mainly SA node and AV node. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.